All right, John Oaks here with Hankster's Hot Rods here in our Homer City location. And today we're going to view a 1970 Ford Bronco that we have here in our inventory. Now, as you can see, our Ford Bronco here, if you look at the whole entire body on this thing, there's been no modifications or alterations made to this body at all. A lot of times you'll see people that'll cut out those rear fender wells and put the uh, fender flares on them, but this one has remained untouched and all the metal is in really good condition on this vehicle. So obviously you see we've had this one, it's done in the orange exterior with the white top. So it's got that two-tone color scheme going for it. Real nice looking color scheme too. The hard top's just been freshly repainted. All of the glass in this vehicle is all in excellent condition. Now in combination with our exterior paint, obviously we've got some of our body moldings here. You've got the upper body molding done here in the bright work. Of course, all of your trim around all of your windows, your mirrors, and of course, the lower body moldings here, all of which done in the bright work. Now when we get around to the front and the rear of the vehicle, you're going to see real nice chrome front and rear bumpers on this vehicle as well. Our vehicle has 302 front fender emblems on it. That is exactly what you're going to find underneath the hood on this vehicle, which we'll get to that here in just a little bit also. Of course, you've got the Sport Bronco uh, script emblems here on the front fenders. As far as your wheels and tires go, obviously all four tires and wheels are going to be matching on this vehicle. You've got the painted steel wheels along with some BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. Now the sizes again all matching 235-75 SR15 LT tires and the tread just like brand new on these things so again no issues there. As far as our body goes everything's nice and straight doors all line up very very nicely on this vehicle you can see all of your trim right in line with everything the door hinges themselves painted up very nice you'll see no signs of any kind of rust or chipping around those like i said the mirrors there are in excellent shape too we're going to open our door up just take a quick peek inside you're going to notice that the two-tone uh, scheme follows its way on the inside as well. Got a full carpet kit in it, so it starts from the front all the way back through to the rear of the vehicle. We've got the front bucket seats, uh, the uh, stock dash in there with the factory instrumentation, stock steering wheel. It is a column shift vehicle as well. Door shuts nice and tight and nice and easy also. You'll notice we have the dual fuel caps here and that does mean that we do have the tandem fuel tanks in this vehicle. The first fuel tank is going to be located right up in this area underneath. Of course your back fuel tank is going to be mounted back in its stock location too. As we come around the back of the vehicle here, again you'll see we have those nice chrome rear bumpers, a nice set of chrome exhaust tips on this vehicle as well. You'll also notice we've got the spare tire with the cover in the white as well just the Ford Bronco cover again just a nice little touch to kind of help detail things up now we're going to open this all up for you so you can get a chance to see that carpet kit all the way in the back here so we're just going to reach back here release the spare tire we'll swing that out nice and easy and then we're going to go ahead and open our rear hatch and that does lock in place and then we'll lower our tailgate so obviously your tailgate is going to be tethered, got your hinges right here. Like I said, brand new carpet kit in here. So again, it might look a little wrinkly there, but again, that's because it's brand new. Uh, up over the wheel wells, the inner fenders, everything like that. Uh, again, all of your glass on the top is in excellent shape. All of your rubber seals, those are all in good condition too on this vehicle. Now you'll notice the seal across the... Uh, the uh, I guess the uh, the rear hatch here um, that is brand new so again that's going to seal up very very nice on the back of the vehicle so we'll close everything up okay it shuts up real nice and tight we're going to go ahead and release that lock it down and then swing our spare tire back into position and that latches too so there you go all back together again so you got to see how that all goes those hinges for your spare tire mount, those are in great shape. 
tail lights, all the lens covers on this vehicle are in good shape too. As we come around the passenger side, again, we're just looking at the body, how nice it is. Uh, that metal, again, unaltered rear fenders. Our door here now on the passenger side, you can check the fitment of that, how everything lines up and the elevations are right on. We'll open this side up too, just so you get to see it from both sides. And again, this is a four-wheel drive vehicle, so you'll see the shifter on the floor. That's for your transfer case. Of course, the shifter for your transmission up on the column. It is an automatic transmission. And again, you can see the shape of the glass, the condition of it, all in great shape. The matching emblems here on the sides. And that brings us around to the front now. Now again, they've elected not to paint this front grille. So that's just the way it would come from the, the, uh, the factory, basically. Your Ford insignia and logo here. Got your parking light uh, lenses and your sealed beam headlights up here, too. And again, the matching chrome front bumper for this vehicle as well. This is a steel hood, uh, the factory steel hood for it. You'll see how well it fits. It actually fits really, really nice on this vehicle. And now we're going to go ahead and open this up. Now, as uh, just kind of bear with me here, because again, uh, being a little on the short side, it just takes me just a little bit to get this all done up so we can actually take a look at it. And here we go. So with the hood up, you'll see it's painted the orange on the underside of the hood. Of course, it's got the hood prop there, so it keeps the hood up for you. Now underneath the hood, as far as the engine goes, this is a 302 uh, Windsor small block engine that's in this. I believe uh, in running the numbers, it's between a 74 and 79 block. Uh, as far as the carburetor sitting on top of that, um, that is probably the original carb for this motor. Um, so it's a Ford either motor crafter auto light two barrel carb 2150 series carburetor that is uh, as far as the rest of everything you'll see that we've got the factory style air cleaner on top you've got a stock cast intake painted valve covers stock distributor and coil with an upgraded set of wires here those are eight millimeter plug wires uh, stock exhaust manifolds on here as well dumping into the dual exhaust with mufflers and the tailpipes and this has an aftermarket air conditioning unit in it so all of that's here it's all hooked up and functioning so that'll be a nice feature for you on the inside here on your hot days power brakes power steering on this vehicle it's disc brakes up front drums on the rear seven blade clutch fan to help cool the engine of course, we've got the stock style radiator and fan shroud in there as well. Uh, that's pretty much it, uh, kind of a mouthful for underneath the, the hood here. All right, now we are standing underneath our 1970 Ford Bronco. So we're gonna go through the underside as we do with all of our vehicles, show you exactly what we have component-wise here, drivetrain-wise, wheels, tires, all that stuff. So starting up here at the front of the vehicle, Again, you'll notice we've got the front differential here. This is a four-wheel drive Bronco, so that's why you have this here, transfer case, all of that. Uh, front suspension on this vehicle, it's just a few slight mods to it. Uh, looks like it's probably got, uh, I'm going to say it's probably stock right height. They have changed the shocks on this, all four corners though. Uh, it's got Rancho RS 5000 shocks the whole way around the car. Uh, as far as your other suspension, your springs here, those are probably stock. We've got the uh, sway bar up front here. That's going to help with the whole roll of the front end, the body roll and everything. Keep that under control for you. Now, as far as your drive shafts, the universals here, your yokes up here by the transmission, everything looks to be nicely uh, maintained. I don't see any leaks on any of this front stuff here. If I come back here to our transfer case, again, all of our seals, all of our lines around all of this stuff, again, nice and dry. Of course, our universals on our rear drive shaft here, those look to be well maintained also. Seal back here at your rear end, that is all dry, and the cover around your rear end here, all dry as well. Now, this is a Ford 9-inch rear end on the back. 
370 gear ratio is what's in here. Of course, as far as suspension on this, you see we've got the big multi-leafs back here. And again, I've already mentioned that it's got a set of Rancho RS 5000 shocks on it to help dampen up uh, any kind of bumps you might occur or incur on the road out there. Now, coming back up to the front, I do want to mention um, it's got the panner bar up front here to keep the rear end located up front here. And we do have a steering dampener shock up here too to take any kind of wobble or bad bumps out of the steering. Now as far as the rest of the drive line on this car, we do have, this is a non-original motor, it's a 302 Windsor small block Ford engine. That is backed up by a, a C6 automatic transmission and we've already been over the rear end being a 9 inch Ford. Uh, the floors on this thing are really in great condition. I don't see any patching, I don't see any holes, no replacement panels. These look to be probably the factory floor pans in this thing and they look outstanding. All of our pinch welds along the side, again, these all look to be in great shape the whole way. So again, the metal top to bottom on this truck is outstanding. We've got dual fuel tanks on this, front and rear tanks, um, and they are both functional on this vehicle. Of course, your front tank is right under here. The back tank would be back in your normal location back here. As far as the exhaust system, we do have a dual exhaust on this uh, Bronco, coming all the way from the stock cast exhaust manifolds, all the way back, we've got these uh, round here mufflers right here and of course we've got tailpipes up over top of the rear end and exiting out the rear of the car of course they've added on a set of chrome exhaust tips back there as well to get that exhaust out the rear um, for there anything else braking system uh, power brakes on this vehicle power steering as well disc brake front we are drum on the back the emergency brake is all hooked up on this vehicle also, so all of your cables, the correct bracketry, and hooks, everything, it's all there and functional. Wheels and tires, these are 15 inch painted steel wheels, and as far as the tires go, the tread looks almost brand new on these things, they are BF Goodrich uh, all-terrain uh, TA tires, they're 235-75 SR15 LT tires on all four corners. And again, like I said, this is a four wheel drive vehicle. You do have the locking hubs on that front differential that you can get out, turn them in if you need to use the four wheel drive on this vehicle. That's pretty much it for underneath here though.